Time Lords and visiting humans, you join us on the most important day of Gallifrey's history. Of course we are. The Dalek fleet have the entire planet surrounded. They continuously bombard us with everything they've got. If we resurrect this moron, this tyrant, he's not going to be able to do anything about it. He'll just ignore the Daleks and continue his horrific experiments until we're dead or no longer Time Lords. Irrelevant! Rassilon will do what Romana has been too afraid to do. The answer to the war ending is right here. Thanks to the expertise and bravery of our own Lady Zaria! Oh, you suck! Ah, oh, yes. Lady Zaria. In your illegal quest to find the lost pieces of the Time Disruptor, you have broken multiple Time Lord rules, haven't you? Most notably, meddling in the affairs of different peoples and planets. Even killing a notorious assassin who is vital to many strands of the timeline. For these reasons, Zoraya is to be banished from the Prydonian chapter with immediate effect. What? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Lord Depeche, you don't... No. Oh, please. Do you want me to beg? Please. Please, I, I was instructed to do it. Lord Tepesh, he... You knew. You'll pay. You'll all pay! lost everything. Not everything. You do this, and there's no chance you'll redeem yourself back home. The doctor never would. I'm not the doctor. Never a dull day. I, Time Lord Brethren, ask yourself this. Would this war be in such a terrible state if not for the incompetent leadership of President Romana? Please think of it. Use your mind. The recent fall of Arcadia. The Nightmare Child swallowing our battle TARDISes whole. The Master's recent escape. My microwave casserole exploding all under her watch. It's a disgrace, I tell you. How did I never banish you? If we had a strong male presenting Time Lord leader, such as Rassilon, or dare I say, myself. I'm confident 
in saying that this war would have never even started. Are we really voting for this guy? Sadly, I think we are. But for the betterment of the universe, not because we agree with his views. Right, Hartnell? Yes, of course, dear girl. You know, you confuse me for David Bradley's portrayal. I love women, especially their bottoms. <laughs> uh, no chance Zariah will be back to beg again, is there? <laughs> if you, like me, believe in Gallifrey, then you will join me in voting for the resurrection of Rassilon. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget to buy my new book, Why Romana is a Total Bitch, in stores now. Wow, that's, um, that's terrible. So, I think we should start the vote after that. A time for all of you to have your voices heard. And for some of you to get back in my good books. Oh, shit. The rules for this vote, they couldn't be simpler. If, like me, you wish to have Rassilon be resurrected and win this war, simply yell his name as loud as you can until your lungs give out with giddy excitement. As giddy as Troughton's aunt. It's not the time, you small prick. Look who's talking. And to vote for the sane option, simply stay silent. Everyone, please cast your vote now! Sorry, got a bit carried away there. It's quite fun. You have chosen to resurrect me. This is fine. You have chosen wisely. Let's hope things back home are looking less cataclysmic. That'll hold it for an hour. But that is the last straw. We need to get in contact again and get all of them back through. They will be stuck there. We can't. They clearly haven't fixed time yet. We just have to assume they're close. But if that PSG breaks again, they'll have no way back. Do you hear me? No way back. There's not enough signal. I can't get through. I think I can help. I can reroute all BBC wavelengths to this room. It should give us all the power we need. <laughs> well, that sounds perfect, do it! But, it'll alert the BBC. If they see what's going on here, or they try to contact the representative, well, well that's it. This place would be finished, and all occupants would be released. Released sounds potentially good. For some, this place, this road, it's the only thing keeping them alive. If they ever got out, that's it. Game over. Colin, we would only have one shot to do this. We all need to be certain. The coronet of Rassilon is all that is needed for his glorious resurrection. If I might ask, how exactly does this resurrection work? Simple. Resurrection button. 
You don't know serious, are you? Annoyingly, he is. President of Gallifrey, reborn. Mr. President, I, I am Lord Tepesh, and I, I was instrumental in your resurrection, sir. Who were these faces that populate the council chamber? Oh, uh, they are humans, Lord President. They did help in your resurrection, but I am the ringleader, so to speak, so. I remember. In the final days of my life. These faces, these clothes. They doomed me to die. Pay them no mind, sir. There are more pressing matters to attend to now that you're up and alive. <laughs> so, the Daleks... Thank you for your opinion. <laughs> now what? You activate that device and let the Daleks through? Something's not right. The doctor said that all must be found before activation. Can't have been my doctor then. My doctor wouldn't have been so vague. I think. Well, all the pieces to the time disruptor have been found, as well as Rassilon's fancy hat. Coronet. Silence in the stands! Yeah, in a mo. Matt Smith! In a mo! What did you say? I remember. Your faces. All your faces. This is getting very meta. Even more meta than usual. Now that is an achievement. You defeated me in the Earth Year 2018. But this time I shall be victorious! Just what I was thinking. David Tennant. The man with the unstoppable libido. Oh, I have his body, yeah. But look into my eyes. Tell me what you see. Well, well, well. My oldest experiment back to haunt me. I believe we've found the victorious. Get out of his head! If you want a body, take mine. Nah. I've been in your head, and not to be rude, but I'm not in a rush to get back. Besides, I found what I was looking for. <sighs> David! Oh, so much for knowing how to fight him. I'm sorry. He's grown stronger. Oh. Yes, I have. Humans and Time Lords. You now have your new leader. The Time Lord Victorious is now the president of Gallifrey! You are insane. Both the entity inside and the man you inhabit. But I knew of Tepesh's wish to have you resurrected, so I constructed safeguards against it. Stand down, or I activate them. 
ex-president Romana. You know, despite everyone's grievances, I consider you a fine, fine leader. With only one major flaw. What have you done? Beginning the purification of this planet. And I see no better place to continue than with you. David Tennant, my original host body. Do you have bigger problems than me, Victorious? The Daleks have this entire planet surrounded. They'll kill us all before you even get a chance. Davros and his pathetic army will bow before me. I don't think the Daleks have the ability to bow. I have the power of the gods now. I will give the Daleks a backbone when they get here. Allow me to help. your universe. What? Once you're through to the wild blue Ooh. yonder, ah. use your energy. Seal this fracture. I, I, I don't understand. D David, it, now's your only chance. Why should we trust you? Because I'm the doctor. Yes, that's, that's fair. Oh, also, we're friend of yours. What? Representative of oh my boy! Well, what are we standing around for? I thought you were experts in this sort of thing. Jump, morons! <laughs> Doctor. I assume you want this back. <laughs> Yay! I'm sure you know what to do with it. Oh, cool. Um, no, oh, fuck it, it's mine now. Whee! Oh, Mr. Hartnell, I think you're forgetting something. Oh! Ah. 
Ah, oh, thank you. Pleasure working with you, dear boy. Woo! Paul, there's nothing we can do. We have to go. My home is here. Very soon there won't be a Gallifrey. We have to go home. Our real home. Fine. So long, Romana. I'm sorry. Funny run! I still can't quite believe it. Tell me about it. They really did run out of ideas, didn't they? What? Oh. Nothing you'd understand. Oh! Before you go, don't worry about that victorious thing. I'll make sure that star beast gets what it deserves. I've no doubt that you will. Doctor. Hello! Okay, that's everyone back through. <laughs> now what? All he said was use your energy. What the hell does that even mean? I don't want to go. <gasps> it's my time. I must hurry. <laughs> Am I on fire? <laughs> it says you're all filled with Cronon and Artron energy. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. Felt the bursting. Oh, that's right. Okay, everyone, hold your hands to the fracture like you're trying to give it a high ten. Do it now. Focus. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Well, you look like one too. Ah! Ah! It's not working. Is it not enough? My friends, it's not always about how hard you strain. It's about determination. All of you, chant with me. I am the doctor. 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 So long, Mr. Baker. It's been a pleasure. Woohoo! <laughs> you all just saved time!